Assalamu alaikum. My name is Haji Muhammad. Brother Zakir, Brother Zakir, you mentioned in your talk that Jesus never claimed divinity. But it is mentioned in the Bible that Jesus said, I and my father are one. Does this not imply that he claimed divinity? Brother, I a question that I said in my talk that nowhere does the Bible say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity. And he gave a quotation of the Bible that Jesus said, I and my father are one. What the brother is quoting is a verse from the Bible in the Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 30, which does say, I and my father are one. But when you ask the Christian missionaries that what is the context? I have not yet met a Christian missionary who can tell you the context without opening the Bible. He knows I and my father are one, but he doesn't know the context. For example, if I quote to someone that the Quran says, do not pray, most of the Muslims will be shocked. What is I'm doing? And if you open it, it does say do not pray, but it's half the verse. Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 43 says, do not pray with your mind before. Do not pray when you're intoxicated. So if I only quote, do not pray, it will mean Quran says don't pray. Have the quotation. So for context, I and my father are one, you have to go to Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 23, and I'm quoting from my memory, that Jesus walked into the temple in Solomon's porch, verse number 24. This, and the Jews came around him and asked him, how long does thou make us doubt? If thou art the Christ, tell us plainly. Verse number 25 says, I told you, but you believe me not. The works that I do in my father's name, they bear witness of me. Verse number 26 says, that you believe not, because you are not my sheep, as I said unto you. The Jews, they were asking Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, that why don't you speak plainly? So he tells them that, yes, I am the Messiah. I've told you clearly, but because you're not my sheep, you don't believe in me. Verse number 27 continues. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, continues saying that my sheep, they hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Verse 28, that I give them eternal life, no man can pluck them out of my hand, and they shall not perish. Verse number 29 says, My father who give it to me, he is greater than all. No man can pluck them out of my father's hand. Then verse number 30 says, I and my father are one. Any person who has little bit sense can make out I and my father are one doesn't mean one as one person. It means one in purpose. Verse number 28 says, No man can pluck them out of my hand. Jesus Christ, peace be upon his saying, No man can pluck them out of my hand. Verse 29 is saying, No man can pluck them out of my father's hand. Verse number 30 says, I and my father are one. In purpose. Both Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and Almighty God, they are one in purpose. If I say, that my father is a doctor and he is a doctor, Alhamdulillah. Even I am a doctor. If I say, I and my father are one, what does it mean? It means one in purpose. As medical profession, my father is a doctor, even I am a doctor. It doesn't mean that I and my father are one. It means my father is a medical doctor, even I am a medical doctor. But Christians say, no, no, it means one, actual unity. So we say, okay, you say actual unity, let's read further. If you go ahead in the Gospel of John, chapter number 17, verse number 21, it says that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said that ye all of them are one. My Father in me and I in thee, we all are one. Does it mean that God Almighty is in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ is in all his 12 disciples? So there will be 14 gods. Jesus Christ, God Almighty and 12 disciples. The same one is used there and here. If you go to the source, the same word is used. If you go to the Greek, same word is used. So does it mean you'll have 14 gods? And among those disciples, Judas was a traitor. Even he's God. Thomas doubted Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Is he God? Peter, Jesus Christ says, he's satanic. Is he also God? No. All of them, God Almighty, Jesus Christ and the Apostle, are one in purpose. They are same. Again, if you go two verses ahead, Gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 23 says, that I am in thee and you and me. He tells the disciple. Does it make all of them God? No, it means one in purpose. But then Christian will say, okay, I've quoted the first part. Why don't you quote after that? 
आफ्टर वर्स नंबर थर्टी Of John chapter ten. Let's go ahead. Gospel of John chapter number ten, verse number thirty-one says, "And Jews picked up stones again to stone at Jesus' feet be upon him." Verse number thirty-two says, "And Jesus' feet be upon him asked them, 'For which of the good works of my father do you stone me?'" Verse thirty-three says that we don't stone you for any good work, but because you blaspheme, being a man, call yourself God. That's why we stone you. What about him? I'm reading from my memory. Any person wants to check up? Can check up. It's there in the Bible, Gospel of John, chapter ten, verse twenty-three onwards. I'm quoting. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, gives the answer. The Jews say that see, he is trying to blaspheme, calling himself God. Good riddance. They want to kill him. Good riddance. The Christians say, oh, the Jews called him God Almighty. See, they understood him correctly for redemption. One wants for redemption. They are calling him God. The other group of people for good riddance. But the answer is given in the next verse. Verse number thirty-four of John chapter ten, Gospel of John chapter ten says that is it not mentioned in your scriptures that ye are gods, and if the person to whom the word of God came, if he says God, the scripture is not broken. If you check up in the Bible in the Psalm chapter number eighty-two, verse number six does say that ye are gods. So Jesus Christ gave the answer that the person to whom the word of God came, if you call him God, it is not blaspheme. It is meaning that they are one in purpose. Hope that answers the question.